we're joining forces with the Cumic Anti-Poaching Squad. These are the guys on the front lines. They brought us in to help fight back against the poachers. What we're dealing with here, we're dealing with wild animals that want to eat you, terrain that wants to kill you. You mix in poachers that have weapons. You know, that's the risk we're taking right now. It's a clash of good and evil. Guys, I'd really like to welcome you here to South Africa. It's a real honor for us to have you here. I think it's wonderful that these four Americans have come to South Africa with the skill and the background and the operational experience which they have. If they can work together with us to fight this fight, then maybe we can keep the rhino safe. Rhinos have been on Earth for at least 50 million years. But in the last 50 years, we've lost almost all of them. And that's entirely due to illegal poaching. I've got a short video which I'd like to show you, just to bring you home to reality what we are dealing with here. This morning at approximately 2 o'clock, I was called to come and attend a scene. And the noises you are hearing, the squeaky noises, are of this one-month-old little baby trying to get milk from its mother that has been poached. Wow. It's very dramatic for this calf. There's no response from his mom. And for this young calf, he or she doesn't really understand quite what's going on. This is the reality which we are faced with in South Africa. This is what the uproar and the epidemic is all about. The question is, how long before someone wakes up and decides to do something about this crisis which we face? We feel helpless watching the video. It makes me angry, but I am motivated that we can probably, hopefully we can make, some, make a difference out here. Guys, we are a few days away from full moon. We call this poacher's moon. This is when poachers are most likely coming to shoot our rhino and that the rhino are most vulnerable. This is why we need you guys. So training starts now. Lee's video of the baby rhino crying over its dead mother really lit our fuse. 